In this video, we'll be comparing the differences between paper backdrops and cotton muslin backdrops for photos and video. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to us for more photo and video equipment reviews and comparisons just like this. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hypop or visit our website, hypop.com.au. Let's get into it. There are several different backdrop options available on the market for your photo or video shoot. A few being vinyl, plastics, paper backdrops, or cotton muslin backdrops. The three main considerations when selecting a backdrop are price, portability, as well as production. So with price, obviously you're gonna be selecting the size that you want and the price to suit your budget. For portability, if you're gonna be shooting on location versus shooting in studio, and production, deciding whether you're gonna be needing it for a photo shoot or a video shoot. Today we'll be talking specifically about paper backdrops and cotton muslin backdrops, so let's go a little bit more in depth about the differences between the two. So let's jump into that first P, price, and we'll compare the differences between paper and cotton muslin. So with paper, it comes in two different sizes, so there's the full width backdrops, which are 2.7 meters by 10 meters in length, and they also have the half rolls, which are 1.36 meters in width and 10 meters in length. They're about the same in terms of price for their full width variation. So we do have the three meters by six meters in cotton muslin, which is the full width. And they do get cheaper as you decrease in size. So as they get smaller with the cotton muslins, they are a bit more economical compared to paper backdrops. So you do have three by three meters, two by three meters, and really small cotton muslin backdrops, which are only 1.45 meters by one meter. Perfect for Twitch streaming, YouTube, live streaming, things like that. So the next P, is portability. Comparing the two different backdrops once again, paper backdrops are more suitable for studio use because they're a little bit harder to transport. You will need a vehicle to transport them. Whereas cotton muslin backdrops, as you can see here, this one here is the largest size, the three meter by six meter. And you can see it folds down perfectly into my hand right here and, and basically a lot more portable, perfect for on location use. So if you're needing a backdrop when you're on location, cotton muslin is probably the most convenient to take with you. Now comparing the different sizes, paper backdrops come in two different sizes, the full width backdrop, which is 2.7 meters in width and 10 meters in length, and the half width backdrop, which is 1.36 meters in width and 10 meters in length as well. You can also have them custom cut to size, so if you have a limited amount of space in your studio, if you have two meters of width, for example, you can get them cut to size, perfect for your space. So in terms of storage for paper backdrops, you will actually need to store them upright it's advisable to store them that way because if you do store them horizontally or lying along the ground, if there is any weight placed on it, it may cause the actual backdrop or the backdrop core of the roll crease like so, and then that'll cause wrinkles in your backdrops when you unravel that on your backdrop stand. Also, uh, you have to be mindful of humidity, so when you're standing them upright, just less chance of it actually you know, encountering humidity. Store it in its box as well, so don't store it just open taped up just like this, it's, it's always advisable to store it in its box or if it came with plastic. In terms of storing cotton muslin, it's nice and easy, you basically fold it up just like this. The disadvantage would be that when you, you know, mount, go to mount your actual muslin, there will be wrinkles once you unravel that and mount that up onto your backdrop stand. So a way to get around this would be to iron it out or if you have a steamer available, you can steam out some of those wrinkles to make sure you have a nice clean backdrop. Storing them, um, it's as simple as folding them up and if you do have a case or a little pouch that comes with your cotton muslin, use that to avoid any sort of dirt and dust to get onto your backdrop so that way you can use it for your next shoot. And when cleaning your backdrops, cotton muslins, they are reusable, so that's the advantage of them. They are machine washable because they are made from cotton. However, if they do get dirty, you will simply just need to machine wash them. That's the advantage of them versus paper. With paper, uh, they do have 10 meters in length. And if you use it while you're on your shoot and your model steps on it, for example, there's some footprints, something gets spilt onto it or it gets torn, you can simply just cut the actual length and pull out a little bit more. So that's why there is 10 meters in length as compared to the full length muslin, which is only six meters. They're a little bit more of a consumable compared to the cotton muslin. So the cotton muslins are reusable and that's their advantage. However, paper is recyclable. So if you are obviously going through a few shoots, um, you know, one roll should last you about three or four shoots. Um, if it does get dirty and if, you're, um, if your model does step on it or your subject does, then you can go ahead and just chop that off and recycle the paper. Final P is production. Production involves what you require the backdrop for. So whether it's a photo shoot or a video shoot. 
So both of these backdrops come in a chroma key green color. So you can see this cotton muslin here is a green color, perfect for video shoots. So if you're doing any chroma key work, whether it's um, you know just an individual subject or a group of people um, in your actual video, you can use these backdrops. You can see the paper comes in a chroma key as well. So in terms of the different, different colors that are available for both backdrops, cotton muslins are only available in a basic range of solid colors. So you only have some really basic colors such as your white, black, gray, green, blue, etc. Um, there are tie-dye variants available for cotton muslin, so they're popular in photography. Things like school photos, you know, office photos, things like that, they use tie-dye. You can get really creative with tie-dye backdrops, um, and they're typically only available in cotton muslin. Whereas in paper backdrops, they do come in a wide range of solid colors. So our spectrum range of backdrops come in over 30 colors. So if you're wanting to get creative with just some plain shots, so if you're doing um, fashion shoots, portrait shoots, they're perfect for uh, that type of thing. So, so some accessories to consider for your backdrop setup would be backdrop stands, obviously. So if you're wanting to mount your backdrop, look for a backdrop stand that has some sort of crossbar so it allows you to mount it through, through the rod sleeve of the cotton muslin or through the cardboard core of the paper backdrop. Backdrop pegs. So backdrop pegs are great for keeping the backdrop taut, especially if you're using cotton muslin or just mounting them to your crossbar and making sure that your paper roll doesn't unravel when it's mounted. And lastly would be some sandbags. So sandbags are perfect to use with your backdrop stand. So with the legs on the side of your backdrop stand, you can you know, support them and make sure they're weighted so your backdrop's nice and sturdy when it's all set up. So that was a quick run through the differences between paper versus cotton muslin backdrops. For more videos just like this, subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hypop or visit our website, hypop.com.au. Thanks for watching.